Hello and welcome to the Spreadsheet Web. Today we'll be showing how to integrate Excel-based calculations into no-code platforms using Spreadsheet Web API focusing N8N. This is a shipping calculator spreadsheet that includes various data tables and complex formulas across multiple sheets. However, we will only be focusing on the input sheet where we define our input and output cells. The sheet requires inputs origination zip, destination zip, and weight. These inputs are used to calculate the shipping cost. Each input and output value are assigned a named range, which will be key in the integration process. Next, we will publish this Excel file as an API on Spreadsheet Web. For simplicity, we will select Anonymous Access. Go for Enhanced Security, you can choose the required authorization access type. Once the API is published, make sure to recall the workspace ID and application ID. Now, let's continue with an ATM platform. As the first step, we add an edit field step and add our input values as variables in text format, aligning them with our API requirements. Before moving to the second step, we need to import our API request as a curl file. To expedite this process, go to the Spreadsheet Web's API page and navigate to the simple Calculate Single Simple path. Click on the button and execute it to obtain the general curl structure. Copy this structure and import it into our HTTP request step by selecting the Import Curl option. At this point, make sure to adjust the workspace and application IDs along with the inputs and outputs in the Excel file. To add our inputs dynamically, we use N8N's drag and drop feature. We can now proceed with testing the API request. Navigate to the Edit field step, enter the input variables and click Test Setup. Then, proceed to the HTTP request step and click Test Setup again. This will send the inputs from the previous step to the Spreadsheet Web API. The calculation results will be returned and displayed in the output section after selecting Test Setup. As an optional final step, you can add another edit field step to deserialize the output data and create a text variable corresponding to the output. Use the drag and drop method to map it accordingly. Finally, run the test again to verify that the calculations returned from the API are populated into the configured output variable.